Hi everyone, this is Keith from Coin Crew. How are you doing? So what we're going to be talking today is about the United States Mint. Yes, the United States Mint. Uh, but before we get into it, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos such as this. So here we go. Let's get into it. So what we're going to be talking about is the United States Mint. That's correct, the United States Mint. You, you people on the other side of this screen, you can't win. Um, and I'm going to explain that a little bit further. Basically, what I'm saying is we're going to look back at a couple of different items from the United States Mint that have soared in value, that have plummeted in value. And like I said, just a couple. So let's take the most recent item. Everybody's made videos about it, so I figure, hey, why not? So we're going to talk about the Morgan dollars with the CC and the O privies. Now, a lot of people were complaining they couldn't get on, they couldn't get to orders. They had a, a maximum mintage, or I'm sorry, a maximum limit of 10 per household, which in my opinion should have been one, maybe two tops, may have made things go a little bit better. However, and when I say this, I, I want to express, however, had they not put a limit on it, or not put a product limit on it, I should say, those would not have been as good. So basically, you wouldn't win for those of you that got them. And for those of you that didn't, you obviously didn't win. And I'm sorry for those of you that didn't get it. But it did help the value of that go up almost instantly. Uh, people were on there for about 15, 20 minutes. They were trying, 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 and hardly nobody could get them because there was only 17,500 people that could have got the 175,000 product limit if they ordered 10. And I'm sure not everybody ordered 10. So that's an example of the U.S. Mint put a product limit on and the thing went up instantly. Now, everybody was talking about how the, how the Mint had gateway errors and such like that. Now, let's, let's say they fixed that. And you know they know how to fix it. There's no doubt in my mind they can hire uh, uh, in Amazon and get the AWS system or whatever. And I'm sure they have some system where they could fix it. But let's go back a little bit, a couple years back to the 225th anniversary enhanced uncirculated set. There was, I think, a limit of 225,000, but no product limit. The thing came out and it went down almost instantly. Again, you didn't win. So no matter what the U.S. Mint does, whether they put a product limit on it, whether they put a minage limit on it, whether they limit the amount you can order, or they put unlimited, the only guys that are going to be winners are going to be the people who get in and out real quick. Because when a product is limited, it will soar up in value extremely, and then it'll cool off and it'll either stay up there or come down. But when a product is unlimited, it tends to go down within a couple months or so. Um, for example, the 225th anniversary set was up there. I think it uh, peaked around 50 to $70 or whatnot. But now you can get them all day long for about $28, $30. So that was not a good investment considering the issue, I think, was 30 or 35 I don't remember exactly. It was a few years back. But this is not the only example of the U.S. Mint products plummeting or soaring. You go back to 2008, you take the fractional buffaloes. There wasn't a limit on them. But however, the Mint did something a little bit different with those. After about two weeks, that's two, one, two weeks being for sale, they pulled them from the site. And then they started going up because everybody thought they was going to have time but they didn't know the U.S. Mint was going to do what they did. Uh, so basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is with the U.S. Mint doing what they're doing, they are, I believe, and again, I'm just a guy, so I'm not 100% on this. They are the largest coin dealer in the world. Again, that's just my opinion. I haven't done no research. So they are going to do what's best for the U.S. Mint. They're not going to worry about 
everybody getting their product. And that is my opinion. They are worried about making sales, putting out a nice product, and hopefully enough people can get them. Because if they try to worry about everybody getting them, they end up in the boat where their product becomes worthless and people stop ordering. And if they limit it too much, then people get upset because they couldn't get it. So again, guys, basically, when you're dealing with the U.S. Mint, buy what you, what you like, not what you think is going to go up. Because as I am a collector, and I'm sure a lot of you out there are, it's important to understand and know you want what you like. It's not just about investing. It's about the beauty of the coins. And that is my opinion from a coin dealer. So guys, I hope you like this video. And if you do, hit the likey likey down below. And uh, until next time, I guess we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.